The next way Ayurveda looks at the body is through the malas or the uh, eliminations or elimination pathways. So a mala is specifically a waste product of the body. And generally we're here we're talking about sweat, urine, or feces. And the malas are Im important because that's the way your body releases toxins and keeps you clean. Uh, your cells are producing toxins all the time, and so you really want to encourage the release of those toxins. And, um, you know, malas can cover everything from pooping to farting to bad breath and body odor. Um, and malas uh, are closely related to ama, which is a toxin. So, you know, not every... Um, Thing that you release is a toxin but those releases are malas uh, but but there's a uh, there's a amount of toxin or an amount of ama in the each mala so yeah you always want to get all the toxins out of you as quickly as possible and you never want to prevent excretion of malas so here's a person using an antiperspirant uh, so that and using that antiperspirant it effectively stops your armpits from sweating, which means your body's not going to be able to release those toxins, and that equals bad. Um, so you don't want to wait to poop or pee either. And uh, in Ayurveda, doing uh, waiting is seen as a root cause of of many diseases. There are three uh, different. Um, I would say uh, kinds of uh, digestive tracts, not in each person, but uh, people tend to have three. Uh, depending upon your, you know, your constitution, you may your digestive tract um, may fit one of these characteristics. It could either be dry and producing hard, dry rabbit pellet stool. It could be soft, producing soft, watery stool, or medium produces uh, one solid, well-formed, easily excreted stool per day. And medium is the one you want, right? You don't want it to be dry or soft. One to two, I would say here. Uh, I don't think two stools is too much. But as you start to get towards three stools, that's a little too soft.